If I can get 1,000 bucks for this fertility goddess, I'm taking one heck of a Vegas vacation, baby. I turned to look at the six-inch green statue in Mrs. Rosenblatt's pudgy hands. It had a bulbous nose, a protruding belly, and a goofy grin on its face that made it look like it had just downed a double shot of tequila on an empty stomach. If Elmer Fudd was your idea of sexy, this statue had it going on. If you get a thousand bucks for that, I'm a monkey's aunt, my mom answered, laughing heartily as she voiced my sentiments exactly. We'd been standing in line for the antiques extravaganza for the last two hours, and my mom and her best friend were getting a little slap happy. Me? I was regretting my decision to wear my new Michael Kors pumps. Even though the slim three-inch silver heels were absolutely gorgeous, I would have killed for a chair right about then. You just wait, Betty, Mrs. Rosenblatt said, wagging a fingertip, painted bright fuchsia and studded with rhinestones, at my mom. I know this thing is authentic and worth cash. My fourth husband, Lenny, brought his back with him from a tour of Africa in 1965. Mrs. Rosenblatt had been married a total of six times, burying three husbands at Forest Lawn Memorial and burying the other three in divorce court. She currently worked as a part-time psychic on the Venice boardwalk, telling fortunes, reading palms, and cleaning dirty auras, and had a collection of moo-moos in every color of the rainbow. Eccentric was her middle name. I don't know if things from the 60s are actually considered antiques, my mom said, probably because she predated the era herself. But Mrs. Rosenblatt waved her off, her underarms continuing to jiggle long after the rest of her had stopped moving. Nonsense, this thing here is the real deal. I tell you, the week after Lenny brought it home, my niece came over for brisket, saw this sucker, and bam! She was pregnant with triplets. I took a small step away from the green statue. Not that I didn't love children, but with my own set of twins, I think I was pretty set in the fertility department. What do you think, Maddie? Mom said, turning to me. Do you think it's old enough to be considered an antique? What I was thinking at the moment was that it was a mistake to have tagged along with these two. When Mom had first giddily told me that she had secured tickets to the antiques extravaganza and insisted that I come along with her, I'd been a bit wary but open-minded. Sure, antiquing felt more like something for the AARP set with time on their hands than a busy mom of two running her own shoe design business, but I had seen the show on TV. And it was kind of fun to guess the values of the kitschy goods people brought in from Grandma's attic. And I did have a pair of vintage Chanel two-toned pumps. I wasn't sure that they were worth much as far as a dollar amount went, but it would be interesting to see if the appraisers could give me an idea of their history.